Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanya family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome, and let's enjoy some great music together. Okay, so what do we have for the Goonies today? Today we're going to do some Jonah Louie. Jonah Louie. Yeah, we have not t- touched on this artist at all, have we? I think we did one song. Did we? Yeah, the one they associate with Christmas, but I don't think it's a Christmas oh, song. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah. That cavalry one. Oh, that's right. Stop yeah. the cavalry. That's it, thank yes. you. <laughs> but this one is called You'll Always Find Me in the Kitchen at Parties. Okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> well, if it's a kitchen party, that's a great thing. If it's not a kitchen party, then... Well, there's usually food, though. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's where you'd true. find me. Um, <laughs> where the food is. It's where the food is. Yeah. Yeah. Not the hors d'oeuvres, the real stuff. Yeah. Mm. But this one was suggested by 11 people. So wow. I figure that it's going to get some views at least. We'll see. Um, once was our Strathfield, Cole Rhodes, Andy Wise, Robert Bagley, SPK Design 1, Terry the Kitty, The Mighty V, Red Sweater, I Was a Countdown Kid, Adam Leroy Davis, and Starburst. Okay. Yeah. Quite the crowd. Very quite familiar. Quite the crowd. Most of them are quite familiar, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Allergy season must be coming. Always have to ruin a take like that. Eh? <laughs> Every yeah. time. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're definitely interested in this considering the amount of people who've uh, asked us for asked it. Asked for us, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we found the sharp surround sound. I don't know what that means, but we're going to play that one. Uh, I do like the uh, opening. Yeah. Haven't used one of these in quite a while. Yeah, really. So let's get into this. This is Jonah Louie with You'll Always Find Me in the Kitchen at Parties. All right. I'm no good at chatting up and always get rebuffed. Enough to drive a man to drink. I don't do no I always leave the stuff piled up, I piled up in the sink But you will always find him in the kitchen at parties Me and my girlfriend, we argued and she ran away from home She must have found somebody new and now I'm all alone Living on my own This is interesting. It's very, um, what's the word? Simple. It's very simple. Simple. (laughs) Yeah, the way it's done, it's just like the vocals, just him talking. Just about, Almost, like talk talk singing. singing. Talk singing, yes. And the girls in the background doing the backup vocals are um, pretty average, I guess you would say. Yeah. Um. Pretty average. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to put it, I suppose. The song feels pretty average. <laughs> yeah, it's not really grabbing me either. It's mm. it's not. It's kind of quirky. Quirky. Yeah, which is good. But I mean, I'm not really getting into it that much, no. even though it's got a cute kind of quirkiness to it. Yeah. You know? I think I get what they're doing. It's just, you know, it, yeah. Okay. And he's upset literally. Uh, because he's losing his girlfriend or something like that. She left him or something. She left him, ran away and moved in with somebody else. And yeah. now he's all alone. And what's he going to do? And he said something like he never liked doing the dishes. He lets them pile up in the sink. Yeah. But you'll always find him in the kitchen at parties. All right. I very, don't know. <laughs> very fascinating for sure. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> I met this 
So he kind of liked hanging out in the kitchen so that he could meet girls there. And when he found the right girl, they went and danced and he stopped hanging out in the kitchen. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from it. Yeah. He met one girl and she liked French cuisine, but it didn't work out for him because he doesn't like Cordon Bleu or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We. <laughs> yes, that's a good word for this one. Kind of weird. Little weird. Um, but yeah, that was uh, it was definitely fascinating. It was kind of fun when he when it picked up just the quirkiness oh, yeah. of that. Well, I, I, it's, I think it's it's definitely meant to be kind of like funny. Yes, in, in a yeah odd way. Because so he was all just, sad and melancholy, and then when he found the girl, the whole vibe picked up a little bit, and it got a little more silly. Yeah. You know, and he yeah. wasn't so down anymore. I picked up a little bit. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. But I mean, it, it's not my favorite, to be oh, honest. Uh, it, not, it's, it's, it's not a real Deliberately simple, yes. meant to be awkward. And I think that's the genius of it, honestly. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, I, I'm not really into that style, though. Not really. It's It's very, very simple. Yeah. 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 Dumb for dumb's sake. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still kind of fun to watch, to It'll be honest. It's fun to watch, for sure. The video really worked for that because, I mean, you're seeing it something a little out of time, but... Yeah, it works out okay, you yeah. know? It, but it made it, sense. It looks like he's built, he builds characters. I mean, there's another one here. Yeah, it brings you into it a little more because you got to see what yeah. was, like, see it and stuff. Without the video, I don't think it would have worked out for no, me at all. Yeah, you'd have to see him doing the boring stuff and... And then being really happy and kind of silly. Him depressed, going towards the uh, keyboard and just yeah. getting a few keys and just looking at them and then looking at the, then going back to the mic and talking about how he met another girl. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's fascinating. But yeah, I, not something I would normally go back to. It's fun to watch though. Oh yeah, for sure. So thank you very much for that request. It was still definitely appreciated. Definitely was. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>